Well, guys, ever since Joe Biden took office in January of 2021, the southern border has been an absolute disaster. We're having a record number of illegals crossing over into this country. And guys, that was actually with Title 42 still in place. I said that Title 42 need to go go away anyway because we already have immigration laws on the books. All we need to do is actually enforce them. Title 42 never meant anything to me because even with Title 42 in place, you still had record amounts of people crossing over into this country illegally. It's just a fact. Now, uh, Title 42 uh, came to an end, I believe, uh, last night. And the southern border is going to get even worse, courtesy of Joe Biden. The border crisis is his fault. This is his doing. This has nothing to do with Trump. And of course, you know, uh, Corinne Jean-Pierre, who is the worst White House press secretary ever, of course, was blaming Trump for the longest time. I mean, this makes no sense, guys. If you don't have a border, you don't have a country. And I believe they're probably trying to actually make it to where I'm talking about the left to where we don't even have a country anymore. I mean, that border is wide open. The Biden administration actually tried to go after Border Patrol. And they were going along with the lie that um, Border Patrol was actually whipping Haitian illegal immigrants. That was not the case. And the Haitians down there, they were actually going back and forth over the border. Getting food. That border has been wide open for the longest time. Mayorkas needs to be impeached. Joe Biden needs to be impeached. Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, they need to be gone. But we all know that we're stuck with Joe Biden until at least January of 2025. We need to vote this man out, guys. We need to vote this man out. He is destroying every aspect of life. If you actually gave a truth serum to people. There is no way in the world, even you leftists, that would actually say your life is better now under Joe Biden than Donald Trump. Anybody that's saying that, I believe, is probably lying. They are probably lying. Well, we're actually going to be talking about uh, Ted Cruz here in this video. My state senator, senator from the great state of Texas. He actually had an encounter with this uh, reporter that was actually trying to get this. Blame him for the border crisis. And we know that the media, man, they are full of lies. The media is very, very dishonest. You know, they um, they love to um, attack conservatives. But Ted Cruz put him in his place and we got data to actually back up with what Ted Cruz actually said. Check this out on Twitter here. Ted Cruz blows up on reporter who tries blaming him, not Joe Biden, for the massive increase of illegal crossings at the southern border. And we got the video here, so we might as well just go ahead and watch this. And Ted Cruz is not running away from this guy. Let's play it. Let, let, let me let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. What rate of illegal immigration did we have in 2020? But you have Do you know been, anything? I asked you a question. How long have you been in office? Do you know anything? How long have you been in office? I've been in office 11 years yes, now. And this has been okay. the calendar in multiple administrations. Except your so okay. You don't get to argue with me. You asked your question. Job. You you asked your question. You don't get. You want to hold a press conference? You can do it over there. You have How are you? You want to hold a press conference? You can do it over there. How are you, Senator? Right, so, so hold on. I'm going to answer his question. The talking point of the Democrats, which this media reporter happily parrots, is, gosh, the problem can't be fixed. There's one little problem with that. It is an utter and complete lie. In 2020, the last year of the Trump presidency, we had the lowest rate of illegal immigration in 45 years. You ask, what have I done? I've championed the men and women of Border Patrol. I've championed securing the border. I've championed Remain in Mexico. And we turned this problem around and solved it. And we went from Joe Biden inherited the lowest rate of illegal immigration in 45 years. And the first day in office, he made political decisions to cause this problem. And you should be ashamed of yourself because you're a reporter and you're not reporting facts. You're telling lies. Joe Biden made a political decision. 
Absolutely. Ted Cruz spot on. He is spot on. And we got the data to actually back up. With what um, Ted Cruz is actually saying right here. Yeah, Joe Biden created this thing. Donald Trump actually um, told Mexico, hey, you get your border in order because we know that the vast majority of these people were actually crossing into uh, Mexico illegally from uh, Central America. And then they were coming up to the southern border and actually trying to get in. What did Trump do? He put the heat on Mexico to stop the illegal immigration into Mexico. Therefore, they can't actually get over here. But uh, Joe Biden. He wants illegal immigration. Joe Biden is breaking the law every single day. Now, look at this here. This is actually from um, January of this year. Look at this. Southern border apprehensions at all time high. All time high. Look here. This is somewhere I'm estimating here about two point three million in twenty twenty two. Yes, for the year. And it actually increased from about one point seven million in twenty twenty one. It got worse. The longer that Joe Biden remains in office, the worse. Look, look at how bad this is. Now, this chart only goes goes back to. Um, to 1999. But look at how much higher this is. Under Donald Trump, 2020, very, very low. And we know the Democrats are actually fighting Donald Trump over the border. They wanted him to open up the border. They were calling him racist and all this other stuff. Trump wasn't having any of that. That border needs to be secure. It just does. Look at this right here. This chart right here, monthly migrant encounters at U.S.-Mexico border are near record highs. And the last one here is from November of 2022. Now, this is actually on a month by month basis right here. In November of 2022, over 206,000 encounters at the border. I mean, that is just Insanely high right there. Insanely high. Down here, April of uh, 2020, 16,000. So we went from 16,000, 182 in April of 2022 to 206,239 under Joe Biden. This is his doing right here. This country is being invaded right now. And I wish we actually had the numbers on, you know, up to this point. But, hey, you guys get the picture. It's bad. It is all time bad at the border. The city of El Paso, a bunch of Democrats over there, Beto country, right? They actually have something like 26,000 illegals sleeping in the streets in that city. 26,000. The Democrat mayor has called for a disaster, said it's a disaster over there. But you know what? The people in El Paso, you guys voted for this. But still saying that I don't believe that they should be invaded by illegals. They're part of my state here in Texas. And hopefully, you know, this actually wakes up a whole bunch of people, man. 2024 is so important for this country. It is. Now, let's jump over here to the Daily Wire here. Look at this. Biden DHS coordinating illegal migration with Mexican law enforcement. So Joe Biden is trying to break the law and get illegals into this country, which is against the law. Yeah, this is a major problem, man. Share this video, guys. Share this video out there with people that are thinking about voting for Joe Biden. Let's read this, guys. The U.S. Border Patrol has reportedly partnered with Mexican immigration officials to facilitate the orderly migration of hundreds of illegal illegal immigrants into the U.S. Border agents are communicating across the U.S.-Mexico border with Mexican authorities on encrypted messaging platforms to facilitate crowds of migrants entering the United States 
according to Mexican officials. The U.S. officials have set up the, quote, control flow system to keep Border Patrol processing centers from being overwhelmed. Now, I'm going to stop right there because I was actually just um, looking at something else. The border f- facilities, they're way, way, way over capacity right now. I mean, it's so bad. I believe they're actually talking about just releasing people. I mean, this is a disaster to the highest form, guys. This is a complete disaster. Border operations run by the Department of Homeland Security are being overrun as Title 42 uh, lapses. The policy officially expired just before midnight on Thursday to combat the historic surge of migration. The Biden administration has reportedly resorted to unusual and drastic measures. Uh, Quote, control flow by the Biden administration's DHS with Mexico also constitutes a highly unusual U.S. policy that demonstrates formal uh, acquiesce to illegal immigration and an and an official willingness to accommodate mass illegal immigration rather than stopping, blocking or deterring it as required by U.S. law. Yeah, they don't care about the law. They do not care about the law, guys. I mean, this is just so bad, guys. This is so bad. I actually put up a. um Retweeted, I should say, a video that I got on Twitter. It was about four or five days ago because all those illegals at the border, they knew that Title 42 was expiring and they would pretty much get a free ticket to come into this country. Guys, the amount of people in that line was so long. And guess what? The ma- the vast majority of these people were single men, not families, not families, guys, single men. I saw the video. I mean, this is a disaster, man. We must get rid of Joe Biden. He must be gone. He must be impeached. He must be removed. But the alternative is just as bad. I mean, Kamala Harris may be worse than Joe Biden. That's saying a lot right there. I mean, she is completely incompetent, guys. Completely incompetent. But we know that uh, the Senate, they're never going to vote to um, convince Joe Biden of anything. Even though he is destroying this country, guys. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we will catch you next time.